Hey, welcome to a new Yoko walkthrough video where today I'm gonna to be walking you through the Manage tab. This is one of my favorite places in the Yoko apps. So let's dive right in. My name is Nick Harrell Ambus and the Money tab is our focus today. So once you've logged in, you land on the Hub tab and you will navigate to the Manage tab. The Manage tab is where you manage all the operations of your business day to day. Not to be confused with the Business Settings tab, which is available in a separate walkthrough video. Uh, this is not about settings, this is about managing your business. And when you land on the Manage tab, you're presented with a few interesting widgets that give you snapshots of information that help you see where things are uh, at a glance. So the Stock widget presents you with out of stock, low stock and in stock items. Your Products widget shows you how many products you have and how many categories are listed. Then you've got your Customers widget, your Card Machine widget and the Staff widget, which shows you your three most recent staff members. Briefly diving into stock, you can set stock alerts, which takes you to communication preferences. You can click on a product to set up stock. Here you can see we've got an alert level that allows you to set an initial stock alert, or you can search for stock items. Then we've got the products widget, which shows you categories, brands, a search, and the ability to create a new product. And then a list of all your existing products, which if you click into, you can see a detailed view of them. If you click on edit, you can edit all the available options to you in your products. We will do a much more detailed view of how to set up a product in a different video, so look out for that in the list. For now, heading back to the Manage tab where you can manage your customers. You can either search for the customer in a directory or you can find one in the list here and click on them to see their detailed view which also gives you the ability to edit the customer, add any of the information that you might think is useful. Or if you go back, you can create a new customer. And the very basics are requirements, a custom na customer name, either a phone number or a mobile address, and then you can add your customer. Then going back to the Manage tab, you can click on Staff and view all the staff that have been added to your account. You can create a new staff member, set their permissions, which again, we will do in a separate video, or find one existing and edit them. Nice and easy. And then finally, the card machine widget takes you to the business settings to allow you to manage your card machines. And that is everything for the Manage tab. Hopefully managing your businesses is streamlined and simple, and it helps you keep everything in order.